In this video, we're gonna write a program to find if an element is in a list using a for loop versus using recursion. So for example, if we have this in list function and we have this list, we can see that C is indeed inside this list. So it will return true. Now, how about for this one? Well, we can see that D is not inside this list. So this function will return false. Let's write the code for the in list function. So we define the in list which takes in a list L and the target that we're searching for. Technically, all you have to do is return target in L, but the purpose of this video is to learn using a for loop and recursion. So let's rewrite this using a for loop. We want to traverse through the list. So for I in range from zero to the end of the list, if the content at index I is equivalent to our target, then all we have to do is return true. And after this entire for loop and we haven't found our target, then we return false. Let's go ahead and test it. So the first one should return true and the second one is false. And indeed it is correct as you can see here. Now let's rewrite this using recursion. The first step to writing any recursion is to draw the recursion tree. And let me show you how to do it. So what this function is gonna do is it's gonna look at the first element at A and you see that A is not C. So it's going to do the recursion. And basically what happens is that it just moves on to the next element, which is B. So we have B and C. And the same thing here. So it looks at the first element and B is not C. So it's going to move on and recurse again. Now it sees that C is indeed the same as this C. So this will return true. And then going up the recursion tree, the result of this one will be true. So what happens if the element that we're searching for is not inside this list? So here we have D instead of C. And so once we get to this point, we're gonna see that C is not D and we're going to recurse again. And this list will become empty. And now we still have D. So when we get to an empty list, we know that this element is not inside this list. So all we have to do is return false. So this will return false. And then going up the recursion tree, the final result will be false. Let's code the recursive solution. We define in list recursive, which takes in a list and a target. If this list is empty, then all we have to do is return false. And if the first element of the list is equal to the target, then we return true. Otherwise, we simply move on to the next element. And finally, we test it. So the first one should return true and the second one should return false. And as you can see, it is the case. So it means that our code is correct. And that is basically it for today. In the next video, I will show you how to get an element in the list based on the index using recursion. So for example, if we have this list and we wanna get the second index, then it would be C because this is zero, one, and this is two. So we wanna return C. As for this one, if we wanna get zero, it is the first element, which is A. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in the next video. Last and not least, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna buy me a coffee for free, go ahead and click like and subscribe.